shake, yow, 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 we're shaking, turkey bacon is your host with the toast, Doc my Benner, and this is Doc's Rants, Monique, let's talk, or better yet, D.L. Huey, let's talk, we all saw Monique's rant on stage yesterday, I f*** with Monique the long way, so I am a little bit biased on this whole thing, but I'm gonna try to keep it fair and balanced. I know, I know, it's a shame to play the algorithm game, but it is what it is. I get in where I fit in, I'ma be a legend regardless. We saw the rant, there's a lot of twists and turns to the story. So, you know, it's all about a contract dispute. D.L. Hewley was hosting this event. It's his event, and I think this whole thing is a misunderstanding. Uh, you know, now she was the last person on stage. That's what it appeared to be, she was the last one on there. So I think she took that as she was the headliner. I would have thought the same thing if I was the last person. The closer is most of the time the headliner. Now she went on and on. She got on some real emotional shit. She started talking about his wife. How does it feel to suck the dick of a coward? She feel bad for his family, the kids. Not the kids, Monique. Anything but the kids. She took it kind of far, bro. She called him a coon. She was making gay jokes because his name is DL. <laughs> I mean, his real name is Daryl Lynn, bro. Funny name. I only met females with that name. But, you know, it's 2022. Y'all need to get over this gay stuff. They here, nigga. They are here. Now, D.L. Hewley did respond on social media with a post that said, and I quote, All you have to do is check the order of the names on the ticket stub from last night, and you'll see who's confused. Against my better judgment... Over the objections of my team and four other occasions where I said no, I decided to take a chance and work with Monique. Oprah was the problem. Tyler Perry was the problem. Charlemagne was the problem. Steve Harvey was the problem. Lee Daniels was the problem. Netflix was the problem. Now it's my turn. At some point, it can't be everybody else. It's you. Lesson learned. I didn't have anything personal against Monique. People paid a lot of money to laugh, not hear about your contract. Apparently, the role you played in Precious turned out to be an autobiography. I wonder who's next. Now, end quote. I believe that after this was when Monique said to show some receipts. Oh, and he did show some receipts. He posted the print up of his contract. Now, I would love to see her contract to see if maybe the writers of the contract uh, you know, pitted them, pitted them against each other. You know what I'm saying? You never know. It could have been a typo on their end. You know, now as much as I love Monique, she looks wrong in this situation at the moment. And D.L. Hughley, I'm gonna tell you, it's my least favorite black comic. I'm just gonna put that out there so you know I am not caping for this dude. I'm not. It looks like because it was his event and he was hosting, yes, Monique did in fact close the show, but on paper, it was listed as him being the headliner. So again, I can see how this could turn into a misunderstanding. In my opinion, I'm kind of tired of seeing black comedians going back and forth and bickering and backbiting each other. It's ugly. People go to comedy shows, you know what I'm saying, to escape the nonsense and laugh. Uh, you know, the people were entertained, of course, because it's negativity, but these people gotta grow up, man. And um, again, this could all be a misunderstanding that they could have figured out behind the scenes. Keywords, um, you know what I'm saying? They went straight to the internet with it. Monique called D.L. Hewley everything except for on the phone to figure this shit out like grown ass adults are supposed to do. But yeah, I'm just playing it by ear right now. I'll let y'all know if any new developments in this situation because right now Monique looks wrong. But uh, yeah, man, be sure to subscribe, tap that notification bell, tap that like button, and don't forget to jump in the comments and let me know how you really feel about this whole ordeal. Till next time. I'm Doc Mondin.